Hello, this is Jim Sims with Hamamatsu Corporation, and today we're going to talk about the Hamamatsu WVU Gemini Optical Splitter, how it works, and its strategic advantages over the competition. If you'll take a look at this optical diagram that we've got here, you can see the path of the light. The light comes into the optical splitter, it becomes collimated, the long wavelengths pass straight through the dichroic mirror, go through a long pass emission filter, go through a optical block, and then come to focus on the chip of the camera. The short wavelengths bounce. They hit the steering mirror, and then they go through the short emission filter, hit an optical block, and again come to focus. So now the two images are side by side on the chip of the camera, and now you've achieved your split view. Between here and here in the Gemini, all the light is traveling through collimated space. This is where the magic genius of this correction lens comes into place. And this is gonna compensate for any chromatic aberration that you have with the objective that you're using. It only affects the long wavelength and it brings it into adjustment with the short wavelength. You'll find as you change objectives that the amount of chromatic aberration you've got changes. There's no other product on the market that has a correction for that in it. Everybody else, you have to actually calculate the error buy a diopter and put it in to compensate. And you can only do that after you've calculated it. It's a real time sink. So this is a definite advantage to this. Additionally, what you can do is if you chose to want to do high speed Z sectioning, if you put a 50-50 silvered mirror here instead of dichroic, and put a single diopter in here to change your Z plane, you would then be able to do two planes simultaneously and once again, this allows you to compensate for any chromatic aberration that may occur. Finally, the advantage of the WV Gemini is that the wavelengths that bounce off the dichroic are the short wavelengths, and those are the ones that hit the steering mirror. You'll find that in the competitive products, the steering mirrors do not reflect outside of the visible spectrum, so you're not able to do the IR dyes, and you cannot do Psi 7. With the WV Gemini, the long wavelengths pass straight through unobstructed, so you can move far into the infrared domain. Our next video is called Bypass Mode Explained. Thank you.